So we're going to start with the lead systems that combine to make up the 12 lead ECG. If you've ever performed an ECG, you'll probably have noticed that there are only 10 physical leads that connect the patient to the monitor and are wondering, well, why is it called a 12 lead ECG if there are only 10 leads? Well, it's because those 10 leads combine to make 12 different recordings that are displayed on a printed ECG trace. They all look at the heart from different angles so we can assess conduction across the entire cardiac organ. Okay, now before we go any further, although there are 10 physical leads, um, the right leg electrode only grounds the signal and reduces noise interference. So whilst it doesn't actually record anything on the trace, without it nothing would be visible. Okay, either way it doesn't factor into any of the systems that we'll be looking at here, not directly anyway. So, the three lead systems that make up the whole 12 lead ECG are, firstly, the six precordial leads. Okay, and they are V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. And there's the three standard limb leads. Okay, and those are one, two, and three. And finally, the three augmented limb leads. And they are AVF, AVL, and AVR. So if we start with the precordial or chest leads. Let's pop that in there. Okay, these are again V1 to V6. Okay, these travel leftwards and posteriorly from the sternum. So from the sternum to the left, towards you know, as if you're going round the rib cage towards the back. Okay, these create a transverse view of the heart, so they're the horizontal viewpoint. Now the precordial leads only need one lead each to look at the heart, so they are unipolar. And I can, I'll give you a comparison when we look at one of the other lead systems. So the standard limb leads display a graph of the potential difference recorded between two limbs at one time. Okay, this means that they use two leads to view the heart and are bipolar. So in these leads, one limb carries a positive electrode and another one carries a negative electrode. Okay, so the three limb electrodes are leads one, leads two, and lead three. Okay, these form Eindhoven's equilateral triangle. At the right arm, the left arm and the left leg. Now remember we already said that the right leg is simply a grounding electrode. Okay, so this uh, the grounding electrode has nothing to do with this triangle, the precordial leads or the augmented limb leads. Lead one up here, that is a combination of a negative pole at the right arm and a positive one at the left arm. Okay, lead two, this one here, it's a combination of a negative pole at the right arm and a positive pole at the left leg. And lead three is a negative pole at the left arm and a positive one at the left leg. Okay, now these leads are explained with Eithoven's law. Okay, this states that the potential difference of lead two is equal to the sum of the complexes in both leads 1 and 3. Okay, so we'll do a little example of that, so it make more sense. So if your ECG lead 1 R wave is 7 millimeters, and the S wave is minus 2 millimeters. Subtracting the S from the R gives five millimeters. Okay, now say for instance in lead three we have an R wave 
of one millimeter and an S of minus 16 millimeters. Doing the same as above would give you minus 15 millimeters. So now say that in lead two, using the same method as above, you get minus 10 millimeters. So using these measurements with Eindhoven's law, you'd see that two equals five plus minus 15, which as we've just measured, or in this example anyway, is minus 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's what we mean when we say that. These are electrically equilateral. So finally, the third system, the augmented limb leads. Now these are also unipolar, like the precordial. Okay, in that they record their signal from individual limb electrodes. And they extend with a positive polarity from a point with a relative zero potential. So, in here, this is negative. Okay, and they all spread out to here. AVR, which is positive. AVL, which is also positive. And AVF, which is, you guessed it, positive as well. Okay, now, when you combine the augmented... with the standard okay you get the hexaxial reference system and using these six separate leads we are able to determine the electrical axis of the heart, which we've gone through in another video, okay, so do check that out.